Hello everyone, I'm Hadiana and today I'll be explaining the real fan cipher with Java program. So let's see how it works and then we will program with Java. Real fan cipher, uh, for example, let's uh, let's say I want to cipher my name, okay, Hadian, and I have the key is three. So this key, I will use it for, for I'll create a mat matrix um, with three rows, okay? And the column is equal to the number of the letters. So my name has seven letters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three rows, which is the key. Um, I will I will rearrange my name diagonally in the matrix. So I have H A D I A N A, and I will decipher the the word. I have to to read it like this H A row by row then A I N D A and the result H is H A A I N D A now if you want to decipher or de decrypt the word you will put it in the matrix the same way H goes here then A then A here I N D A and you will read it like this Diagonally. Okay. Now let's see the program. Let's write the main method. Public void main. Okay. Let's get the text. Let's add scanner so that we can get the user message. And let's get the key. Okay. Now let's create the encryption method. Start here. We will return string encryption. We have the we have the string text and the key. Okay. We will return. Um, we will have the encrypted message. So let's and let's return the encrypted text. Okay. Now let's write the code for encryption. We will have check boolean check. Initially, it will be false. Now this check is to check. If I'm going down or I'm going up. For example, here, if I, if I, when I put edge, then I have go down and put the um, A. Then go down, put D. When I reach the three, the third rows, I have to move up, right? So I have to change. This check, I'm checking if I'm going up or down. And we have A, J is equal to zero and we have the int row is equal to number of key as i said an int column is equal to the i told you the number of row is equal to key and number of column is equal to the length of the of the word four I write the for loop and I'll explain it for you. Okay. Now I'm checking if J is equal to zero or J is equal to minus one. I'm checking if J is here or at the end. It's on the first row or the end row. If it's on the first row or on the uh, on the bottom row, I have to change the check. So if I am on top, I'll change check, the check so that I can go down. Okay. 
if I reach the bottom, I have to change the, ch the check so I can go up. Okay, but I have to have the matrix to store the, I have to have this matrix. So I will add this matrix as car. It's called A is equal to new car number. So here I am adding the character, each letter to the matrix. So first I will add edge from word, then I will get to this position and I will add the second element. Okay. Now if check, we will increase J else minus minus. Okay. Let's print, let's print the matrix and see what we got, okay? Let's see what we have. Enter the text, let's say again. Enter the key, let's say three. Oh, let us send it to encryption method. So plain text with the key, okay? Let's try again. Let's remove this. As you can see, we have H A D I as I showed you in the here. Now we have these. We for the encryption message we will read them row by row. So let's read them row by row. Okay. Let's copy these four loops. We won't we don't need this and this. So if if it's letter added to our string, these are not zeros, but if you add zero to character, you will get this. So we can check for the zeros. Okay, if a of i and k not equal not equal to zero added to encrypted text. Okay. Okay, I will, and we will return the encrypted text. Let's see the encrypted text system of the frame. As you can see, H A A I N D A. Now let's write the method for decryption. We will have string decrypted text decrypted. Okay. Now for decryption, we will do the same. We have to have this matrix. We have to have this matrix, rearrange them and read them diagonally. Okay. So I will get this code. I'll get this code, paste it here. But I have to have also these variables. Paste them here. And here we will add, instead of edge, because we have now encrypted message, right? First of all, let's add the asterisk. Here, here we have the word encrypted word. We must add this one here, then a here row by row. So that's why I'm using for now 
on create integer an integer called index is equal to zero and I'll check if a of i k is equal equal to asterisk and and less than call. Okay, it's less than call. If this condition is true, we will add the i i. We will change it to the letter itself text dot car add index then we will increase the index okay we will increase the index let's print them and see let's print before and after okay i will remove this and i will have the decryption uh plain text with key let's start this in string and it's equal to now i have the encrypted message okay i will send the encryption message to decryption let's say diana with three okay now This one is for the encryption. We don't need this one. I'm talking about this matrix. As you can see, I have all the asterisks here. Now, I am in with this, uh, where is it? With this for loop, I am adding each letter to its position. So we have this. Now, I have to, I have to read them diagonally. How we can do that? Let's do it. So we have the same. We use this for. But instead of this, I will add it to in decrypted text. A of A of J N I. Now let's print it and see if we get the original text. Okay, system.out.print. Here I'm um, storing the encrypted message, which was H-A-I-I-N-D-A. -A. Let's print that also. A-N. We don't need to print all these. Let's remove this one. Let's remove this one also. Okay. Let's run. Diana. The key is three. We have to make check also false. Okay, guys. Our error was just to reset the J to zero. Uh, reset the J to zero because we are reusing it. And that's it. Okay. Thank you for listening. And if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment below. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.